Okay, I got my new spot here. And I've got the whole keep the line tight thing pretty good. So I've noticed with the weighted line, see if I can get it up to you here. So what I'm doing here is I'm uh, I'm pulling the line up until you see the black. Let's see if I can get it in front of you here. So I'm going to pull the line up until I can see the black, which is the uh, sink line. And that, that tells me that I have enough time to do a little roll cast, get, the, get it enough in front. And then I've got... That was a bad one. But I have two... Uh, one false cast and one cast. So that big loop there is the technique I learned. So the line's sinking pretty fast, and so it's really hitting the bottom of the river, which is good, completely um, opposite of just having that fly float along the water. But um, so again, if you notice, I. I usually don't pull it out in front of me like this, but it's easier to show with the camera. I got a nice little sweet ass spot here. I can sit down actually. It's actually really nice. I can spend a lot more time sitting here instead of standing on those hard rocks. Um, so anyway, I get I get it here, and then I get a little get a little light in front of me, a little little roll cast, and then I usually go. You gotta get that fly out of the water, so. Not bad, so it's not as easy sitting down to do the casting, but uh, sure is a lot easier than, uh, like I said, sitting up on those rocks. Anyway, I just wanted to show a few casting. Seems like a pretty sweet spot. Um... Uh oh, it's stuck. Unless I have a 200 pound sturgeon on here, it's stuck. So that's one te one thing I don't really have a lot of. Oh, I hope I don't lose this lure. I probably should not be lazy. I should probably walk out there and try and try and get it loose. These lures are little. I mean, all lures aren't that expensive, but uh, there must be a log. See that? See that right there? Just if you jiggle it, and I'll see. Here comes the million dollar question. So if you jiggle it a little bit, don't want to pull it hard, jiggle it, wiggle it. Yeah, hey, I still have my lure. Yay. That's always the big question is after you get something stuck, do you still have the lure? So one, two, three. That's that. So two false casts and a cast. It's pretty good for a beginner. So yes, it's way easier. I'll probably stand up for a while. So I need. So as the slack comes, I have a big loop. I'm trying to hold on to the line at, at all possible in case I do get one. So now it's tight enough where I can, if I set it, I set it like that. And by the way, a little trick the guy taught me is you want to set it, set it downstream. So as the fish... As the fish is coming up to eat the lure, you don't want to pull it out of its mouth. If you want to, if you set it this way, and then it is less likely that the lure is going to be ripped out of the fish's mouth. As a completely side note, I can tell you one thing. <laughs> this might seem kind of way off topic, which it is, but I can tell you every time I'm in these waders, I don't care if I just peed. I feel I can just let it go right there in the waders. And uh, yeah, I swear I have to pee every time I'm in these waders. Look at that. I don't think it's a duck or something flying by. This duck season, that thing would have been done. Not here, though. This is right off the a main highway. So I'm about thigh deep in water right now. That's why it's nice to have the 
waiters. You know, I'm almost getting to a point where I don't have to think about the cast. But every time I start talking on for this thing and I don't concentrate on the cast, it's like a half-ass cast. But one thing I did notice, and I'm not talking about the instructional instruction videos, but I'm talking about people just fishing and catching fish. I mean, some of their technique is horrid. But at the end of the day, you're, all you really have to do is get the lure in the right spot, right? I mean, that's all you need to do. It is cool. Watch it. I know I can't really show you the whole thing, but showing this whole motion, you know, it is cool. And I have to give Corey his props when, uh, give him credit when credit's due. He said, you should try fly fishing because you're going to enjoy it more because I have, it does teach you patience. I'll tell you that. At least I'm learning patience. I'm not learning how to catch a fucking fish, but, um, well, I am learning. I'm just not catching. Um, but the, but the fly, fly fishing is constant action. So I'll get that baby. Oh yeah. That was a good one. I need to be more gentle out of the water. I kind of whip that hard. You don't have to. The one thing is you don't have. Oh, see all that slack? That's no bueno. So I need to get that reeled in here. Because what happens is if you get a fish and you have no slack, you can't pull up and set it. Right? And I need to remind myself the first time. Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. I felt the tug, and what did I do? I pulled it upstream, exactly what I'm not supposed to do. And so I'm not sure if there's a tree under there. Cause that's kind of, I felt like a little, I felt like a little bite there, though. I don't know the proper thing to do, but if I felt a bite, I'm just going to let it come right back where I was. Makes sense, right? I mean, a lot of, a lot of things, just like in life, is logic. It's nice having a mathematical brain because it just seems logic. Hey, they, was that a bite? If it was, maybe I should put it back right where I had a bite. And, of course, when I felt the bite, I pulled it towards me. <laughs> It's all muscle memory. It's all muscle memory. But I, I'm having a hard time. So if, if I get a bite there, I guess I'm supposed to pull it that way. I guess. That's more downstream than pulling it this way. So this way, I'm pulling it out of its mouth. That way, I'm pulling it in towards its mouth and throat. Okay, so this has the rod so, that's similar to what you were working me with, with yeah, me, correct? Yeah, it, it feels a little crisper than the one you had, and but based on the cast, I think you could be you'd be good with it. Uh huh. Yeah, and then um, uh, great reel, very very popular reel. This is all sage, which is a very well respected name. Everything. Uh, the reels aren't made on the Bainbridge Island, but the rods actually make on Bainbridge Oh, interesting. Island. Okay. Yeah, from scratch. And, and this? A super quality line. That's a $90 fly line. Okay. And then it comes with uh, backing, which is what we, we put on the reel first. The fly lines aren't very long. Right. Uh, and so, okay, silly, qu silly question. I buy this and I go home and put it all on, or can you help me with that part? Yeah, okay, okay. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, YouTube, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we just turn it right up. Okay. Does it sound good? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a it's nice, a yeah, I'll, I'll be, uh, I got to have uh, my buddy and I a little bit of competition with our guns, on, and he's got this, uh, is it Quest? Is that is that a brand, Quest? Or? Oh, I don't know that gun. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, it, this is oh, a fly rod. Fly rod? Yeah. Oh. Does that sound right? Or he was saying, yeah, gotta have this. I'm like, dude, that's. He doesn't know what he's talking about. 
So it's a quest. I don't know is it. Yeah, I don't know that that's what. Yeah, no. I don't. It was something. It's something on Amazon. I'm like, dude, you're dumb. You're not going to get any help from. I, mean, I told them all about this place. I'm like, dude, you get stuff here, and then they help you, and then teach you, and blah blah blah. I still might even take. Uh, any idea when you might want to start the or uh, start the classes again? Or no, we just once it's stupid COVID stuff. Have Twelve people stuffed in our room. Sitting next to one another. Where do you normally have it? Right here. Yeah. Right there. Right, right there. there. Yeah. Screen. Oh. <laughs> Oh, cool! Yeah. It's right here. Yeah, yeah I, so that might be a, w a while, huh? Yeah, not yet, I don't think. But hopefully, hopefully soon. I better watch this. Thank you for letting me film all this because it's uh, yeah, it's interesting. And um, I lost all my footage when I was doing all the research of the guns. And and when you go in and buy a gun, it's like you know, geez, Louise, you might have to give your firstborn. You have to give blood. I mean, it's yeah. rough. Yeah, it's not just that FBI check. It's just like it's brutal, and you know everybody in there, everybody is trying to get, you know, gun and ammo, you know, for the apocalypse, and it's just it's just rough. Yeah. And so, I I had all that learning. I learned so much, and I lost all that footage. I was so mad <laughs> <coughs> because, you know, if you haven't done it before, it's crazy. I mean, it's <laughs> uh -huh. I was blown away. I mean, literally, you're not walking out of there within an hour. <laughs> It's that long. Okay, so you have a whole setup here. Did you like reeling with the hang on the left way with your left hand the way it was out there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking that's normal, right? More <coughs> or common. more common. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is a whole setup. Like if you're uh, if you're like into fishing, a lot of people have this at home, or is this <coughs> more of a shop thing? No, it's a shop thing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I you know, uh, there's a ton of stuff for people to make their own bullets, and yeah. I don't know if this is something eventually I'd get. No. It's like if you you know work on your own bicycle, you have all that crap. It's there. Uh, no. Some guys that have money yeah, to waste. A lot of space and a lot yeah. Of at that point. Yeah. <laughs> So this is actually called stringing the, or what are you actually doing here? You're, I know you're putting the, I know you're putting the fly uh, or the, that on the, on the reel, but yeah. is there, is this process called anything or? Not really. Okay. Rigging, rigging it. Uh, rigging it up. Yeah. Now is, is all this stuff different, different, uh, all this different color, is that? These guys? Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same as what you've got here. Okay. But just different color. And you said there was a, and that goes on first. Yes. And that's kind of a pre. So, since filings are bulky and expensive, and you don't really need a tremendous length of it, you know, cast 300 feet, you know. It, right. Uh, they don't make fly lines longer. Most of them are 90 or 100 feet. Yeah. Gotcha. But so it cuts out on the cost because that's basically just. And the amount of room on this reel, you'd have to have reels that are huge, right? <laughs> Like um, that right there? Can I have that for... <laughs> um, but you might hook a trout that takes off downriver and needs more than 90 gotcha. feet of line. Gotcha. And if you didn't have backing, it, you, you would come to the end of your line and bring them off every time. Okay. Yeah. okay. So this is typically in a trout really put somewhere around 100 yards on. Okay. So this is not what... You do not want to lose your fly fishing line. <laughs> this is not like... <laughs> the cheap uh, ten dollar reel for. <laughs> yeah, you want to take care of your line. You want to take care of about a hundred bucks. Would eventually wear out. But, uh, when you say wear out, they'll actually like break or snap. Or that's, that's pretty rare. Okay. Uh, let's do three uh, X and four X. They start to crack. They start to crack. Oh, okay, kinda, that's um, why I don't practice out. on asphalt. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I'm going to take care of this. But, okay. So we're going to tie a fancy loop in the backing. Okay. So it doesn't actually come. Ah, see? Okay. So you don't just do a square knot. <laughs> yeah, you could. You could show off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I got that kind of feel like this. Yeah. Whoa, that's a fancy one. Treatment. Yeah. <laughs> this is called a Bimini twist. Wow. It's a fancy, very, 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 very strong. Might go to Mario. Not. 
Gotcha. So, as far as the blog, you keep the blog up to date pretty well as far as uh, what's available, where to go, and all that stuff. I mean, thank you. That, that's probably going to be my best resource because I just sick of, you know, how, uh, here's a question. Let's say if I want to do uh, the Yakima, so like, <coughs> is different parts of the river uh, different, like, um, uh, what should I say, not uh, restrictions and stuff, or is it all just the same on one river? Um, like what I'm asking is there like like I'm used to hunting with G GMUs. Are there yeah. are there GMUs the, for fishing? In the trout <coughs> section of that river, it's pretty much all the same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. So. I don't know. Why. Don't worry, I'm not sick. I don't know why. I'm... <laughs> all that casting's got me worked up. <laughs> My, my buddy dragged out 20 so you just connect the loops. Gotcha. So when I start seeing orange, it's only because he's pulling me, or he's he's fighting, he's going. He doesn't want to be caught, basically, right? Yeah. That's another thing I need to work on, and that's what my buddy Neto helped me. Is like, when I actually get the fish on, then do you just start doing, like, traditional, or do you just start reeling it in, or is there a whole different technique? Uh -huh. Yeah, first you got to take care of that slack. Right. right. Either the fish is going to take it out, or you're going to pinch the line, you're going to throw a rod cork, right. and you're going to reel it up one or the other. Right. Yeah, because you're on them with your hands. Gotcha. At, at okay. Yeah. And then it's just normal. So it, just, it's no, uh, yeah. it's traditional, like pulling them in and then let them out. And, Pretty much. Yeah, and, that's, and that's something that I'm lucky to have a buddy who's done it for, you know, forever, so. Yeah. So, Steep learning curve. <laughs> yeah. So a couple things. You know, the fly rod one is the fly line resistance going through twelve guides, fourteen guides has a little more resistance than a regular spinning rod. Okay. Right. Okay. And then the other thing is um, uh, there's more resistance if the fish is cutting through the water. The fly line has a lot more weight. Ah yes, it. okay, yeah. Wow. There's all that weight, yeah, okay. And that's probably the big. That's the biggest yeah. like thing I learned today is that that line has weight on it. I yeah. mean, like, how much is that weight like right there, like in your hand? Is that? Uh, uh, well, we weigh fly lines to determine if they're three weight or four weight or five weight. Ah, so okay, okay. Taking the first thirty feet of them on the fishing end. Okay. And weight and grain. Really? Yeah. Okay, so so a five weight is going to have a different. Maybe about 140 grains. Okay, it's going to be way different than a, than a 10 weight. It's yeah. going to. Okay, wow. Yeah. Okay, that's why there's. <laughs> that's why there's shelves upon shelves of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If you put a three weight line on a five weight rod, it's going to count. Yeah. Not very good. Okay. It's too light. It doesn't load it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, your manager told me business has been good this past year because everybody's sick of being inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so, okay, I'm sorry. So hold this here, which is yeah. not normally, but it's kind of a practice thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm going to bring it all the way down as, super, as simple as we can. Gotcha. Kind of cast. Okay, okay. Okay. So we're gonna learn. Um, Dang two, it! Pull two, down. Okay. Okay. And the first one, we try not to have to do, but we but we need to know for a couple of reasons. Okay. And it's called a roll cast. I'm gonna scoot back a little bit. And a roll cast looks like this. Like you just take a rod and just tilt it out the side a little bit. Okay. Come back to this. What this one's called one o'clock. So this is twelve o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, right? So, it's your perspective of the clock, like, look in this direction. Okay, gotcha. And, uh, so, I come back to here, I slowly drag the line across the water. Very okay. Important. I stop at 1 o'clock, I let this set up in here, and then I'm just going to flip the rod going forward like that, and it's going to call the roll cast. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to begin very slowly, the line drag across the surface. which I pause for a second, and let this line come in behind me here. Okay. So, wait, this is one of my casts. Right, right. Forward, I'm just gonna flip it like I'm flipping a tomato off of a stick. Okay. Try to get okay. It and the whole time you have it, you're holding the index finger on. Yeah. Okay. And it's just a practice tool. Yeah. So you're coming. You want me to come in. Keep going. 
and go to one o'clock. Tilt it out to the right to your side and put it one. Okay. Okay. And then you it's made a wrap. So it's all about smooth and so just that it's one, that wouldn't go as well. Right. Because you got back to here and then you went. You want to go back to here and wait for a second. Wait, so okay. Ah, okay, wait. Wait, oh I see. The wait right there. Now go. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that still wasn't very good. Now did I did I go down to the water too much or like uh, yeah. what's the technique with the tip? Like where should that I'll watch so you. If you go in a kind of a circular motion, the line kind of goes up and goes, I don't know where I'm supposed to do. Right. Okay. You know, you can do it more straight. Now, when you say straight, it's the arm and the pole. So, the pole is just the extension of your arm, correct? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to aim at that book. Okay. I'll aim at that. Okay. So, be a little patient. So, you got to let that. Your rod tip, the energy of your rod tip kind of went down like that. Right. It, no bueno? Make it go off up here. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, got it. There you go. Yeah, now it has more, the line has more direction. Like, oh, okay, so good. So, so, gotcha. So, um, casting, you want to be above parallel, non casting, below parallel. The, okay. the, or uh, perpendicular. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm a math teacher. All right, we're come here. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that was a little circular again in motion. Oh, circle, circle. You want to crack? You want to go straight? Yeah. Gotcha. You got a paintbrush? Yeah. And it's full of red paint. There's a big white wall in front of us. We don't want to spray the whole wall. You don't want to go. Oh. You want to hit the bullseye. Everywhere. You want to go one spot. Yep. Right, right there. Okay. Is that better? I can see why you need practice. So, like, like when you are fly fishing, do you cast it across the pond, or what we're doing now is normal? Uh, occasionally it, we'll, we'll air it out pretty good. Yeah, most, and that takes. Most uh, fly fishing, yeah, so that's a pretty good cast right there. Most of your fly fishing is going to be done like right here. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so, so here we go. Wait. Straight line, smooth out. Ah, yeah. was that more circular or was that? Uh, we'll, we'll work on it. Okay. So wait. Should you hear that? That is that good or bad to hear that swoosh? Uh, with this cast, you're, you're always going to hear some. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So now, now when I'm sorry, when, when is this? Is this when when you're pulling the like that? that is that when that usually the fish bite when you're pulling it back or? Getting ready to get them. Okay. Well, I'll tell you. See, there's two reasons we do this cast. Okay. Okay. The first one, because I can't do the overhead cast. The overhead cast is running like this, right? And that's what we're going to spend most of our time on. Okay. Okay. That's okay. What we do most of the time. And almost all other casts you'll hear about are variations of the overhead cast. Okay. But imagine this is solid trees. Ah, gotcha. Okay. So, you can't do that big old wine and whipping, yeah, or, or bushes or whatever, because right it's going to get caught and yeah. you're going to spend your whole time. Yeah, okay. So imagine the lake, the pond here was all the way up to the top there. Right. This is the, okay. Yeah. This, this is, okay, gotcha. But the other perfect story is, and this will happen throughout our lesson, is you'll get to the situation where the line's like this. Okay. Right? And I don't care who you are, how long you've been casting, nobody can make a good cast. With a big well, old pile of line across. Gotcha. The, the fly cast hates slack. It's like the enemy, right? It so slacks I, the enemy. Yeah. So if I had all this line in front of me like this, and it'll become second nature over time, I wouldn't just go into my overhead cast. I would do a quick little roll cast, and then go into my cast. Ha ha. Okay. So gotcha. The second reason we, we do the roll cast. <laughs> so there's actually a purpose. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay. Yeah. So roll cast. Boom. Hold, hold it. And then then... I, I forgot, dang it, I forgot to focus on a, like a, is that okay? Yeah. All right, so wait, so two things, one o'clock, or three things, one o'clock, wait, and straight ahead. Yeah, like load the paintbrush. And not paintbrush, not the whole thing. Yeah. 
and I and I need to make sure I'm not muscling it. I need to. It's, it is really finesse, isn't it? I mean, it's smooth and finesse. I can't just muscle this thing out there. Yeah. 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 Okay. So the roll cast feels pretty good. We'll do it. You know, you'll get a tangle at some point, and we'll have a big pile of line here when we're, we're going to roll cast that. But let's look at the overhead cast. Okay. Okay. And so the overhead cast is going to require a lot more energy because all the line is going to be. We have to give it enough power and energy to get the line up over on top of this, right? Right. Okay. So, um, the first thing we're going to learn is how we get the line off the water properly. And the way to do that is to lift the rod. It's like you're going up the side of a box. See the, the rod tip. Imagine there's a red light on the tip of the oh, rod. Okay. You're going up the face of a box right here. Okay. To the top of it. Then I'm going to go straight across the top of the box. So it's, it's gotcha. As, it's it's linear. Ball. It's so linear. Lift up. Then I start my cast, and it's yeah, very much linear. It's linear. Okay. Yeah. It's not big looping. You don't want to be no, looping. No. So tra a lot of things, slack enemy, linear. So yeah. so I've heard I've heard a lot of linear non-circular so far. Yeah. Okay. And let me so let me okay, one more time. Yeah. Okay. Write that down. Lift up to here, and when you get here, I think I'm gonna start accelerating straight back, and I'm gonna stop really hard at one o'clock. Okay. And that gets the whip effect. Accelerate. Stop. Oh, okay. So what you're shooting for is a nice back cast. And if you, if, you, if you can't get a good back cast, you'll never get this far. So this is the most important part. And that little whip. Forward back. Super easy. Yeah. And, it, and I can tell forearm strength is going to be a key here. Yeah. Or, or wrist up. I, mean, I can tell, right? Just, uh, yeah. Anyway. Well, when you begin, when you start off, people like death grip the rod. Oh, that's part of the problem. <laughs> I, I got like indentations in the cork. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's a used rod now. Okay. So, um, so the key is again, you lift up slowly. And if, you're, you're, if I didn't do it that way, watch what happens to the line. Imagine there's a whole bunch of fish out there and they're spooky. Yeah. Go to cast. Right? Not, not good. They're gone. They're totally out of control on the cast. R right. Okay. okay. If I do it like this, it seals off like a nice little piece of scotch tape, you know? Ooh, I like that analogy. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Slow. Boom. Stop hard. And then, and then you you just it's more of a pause, right? A snap, pause, and then and then forward, or yeah. it's okay to actually stop. And let's for now let's stop. Okay. We're okay. Watch that, and we're gonna get that. Okay. Down. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. One thing at a time. Okay. Yeah. So I'm coming here, and yeah. and so you about 45 degrees. Uh, if not a little more. A little bit more. Okay. A little bit over 45. And then, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it didn't look like yours. <laughs> All right. So roll cast that out. Okay. All right, hang on. Roll, roll cast. Okay, here we go. Roll cast. Oh, man, that's ugly. Okay. Let me try that again. My, my, I'm not even, okay, roll cast. So if I'm all over t tangled, will, will it fix itself? Probably. Okay. Not as wise it wouldn't, but it would be all right. Well. Okay. Okay, so write this down. On that note, so the rod's up like this. That's the other reason for the rod tip being down. Look what my line's doing. Creeping it's back creeping right. at you. And I got all that slack in there. Oh, and slack's yeah, bad. Yeah. And the, I would have, so I'm going to be, uh, beginners roll cast a lot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. so, yeah, it's kind of like, okay, if I'm roll casting too much, I'm, I'm you know, I, I, more practice. Okay, so when I get to 45, I'm coming harder. That's, yeah, that was I, what, on your first one. I was like, like eh. a little bit. Yeah, know, yeah, it's like, Boom! Don't straight back. And, and when you say this, I'm thinking like that. The, the tip, the tip, and then now I'm coming straight back. Okay. Oh man, it's got to be even faster than that. Wow. Okay. Now from here. Man, I, I can see why I put yarn. Okay. So I'm coming here. Am I too jerky? Yeah. Okay. Power down and, um, quicker, less so power, stop, quicker. Stop, but the stop needs to like stop, and the rod can't be moving. It needs to, <laughs> it needs to stop and damp. Okay. The word to use. So I'm coming here. All right, all right. Here we go. Let me think. So I'm gonna come up to a little bit past 45, and then I'm going. Ah, now I could yeah. tell. Is that better? Yeah. I I feel. Okay, I feel like when I'm when I'm here. Uh, like, like, 
and I can see that creeping. Okay, so when I get to 45, explain like um, the the arm movement from there. Is it no? It's no hips either. You keep it's no, it's no lower body, right? Okay, so explain the arm movement one more time. So if we look just the arm movement, it would be like this. Right. Right. And then it would be like this. So and, and that part. And then, and then what muscles are you using to get that quick? Like. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, that's the part I feel very. Right. Right. People like, oh, don't use your wrist to fly casting. No, actually, this is very, very important. You just use a little. Tiny just tiny yeah. Little. It's just a little flick. So if you watch this, watch the wrist. Okay. Yes. Just okay. Little... Right. That's right, Matt. Okay. So you're not you're not hitting the wrist until uh, after you start pulling. Yeah. Almost at twelve. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it's just a little short little. Movement. I notice you have your, you have your index finger out or not or. Gotcha. Okay, because that's the that's the rod. <laughs> okay. All right. So up, and then. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Okay. The problem with that was it was it was like it needs to transition smoothly so that acceleration you're going up like this and then it starts to accelerate. There's no stop and then go. It's like you know what I mean. So I I just kept going slow the whole time. I didn't have the pause. All right, lift. Okay, let's do it again. Watch your rod tip and make sure the rod tip, when it comes up to the top of the corner of the box, yeah. it doesn't go like this and then go back. Oh, okay. And here. Is so. that here? Okay, that's better. So in one fluid motion, even though it's better. Um, so now, once you get to the corner, the top corner of the box, make it so it's lift. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to go slow motion. So here, I'm going to go faster and then straight back. Yeah, and except when you transition, the rod keeps moving. Yes, okay, okay. Yeah. So this is when I need to, you said roll cast, right? I, I got roll cast pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I just roll cast my whole time. Okay, here we go. Uh, but no, I want to get the big, why, why do they do like like four or five? Is that where they're really going far? Like, or is that just in the movie? <laughs> Okay, you're like, you're like, flying all over the place, and it's beautiful, but it's like, you're like, wait a second. All right. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so come here. I'm going straight back to one o'clock. So, ah, oh, man, that is awkward. Yeah. So I'm coming from here. I'm gonna raise it up. Come back here. Yeah, just make that acceleration smoother. Lift. Lift. So watch my watch my pace. Lift. See what I mean? Lift. It's a slower acceleration in the beginning. And then you're ah, uh, you're really okay, okay, okay. So here. Ah. <laughs> I tried, I tried the wrist thing, and it was like way not right. Okay, so here we go. Dang it! I, I'm not doing the pause. Let me tell you what we're shooting, what the goal is. Okay. okay. I think that'll help. So, um, in any good fly cast, there's going to be a moment where, if, like, you're standing here, and the rod comes up like this. There should be a moment where I can take a snapshot of the rod tip and the line perfectly straight behind it. Ah. Right? Okay. Okay. And the reason we need that is because there's this concept in catching it, an important concept in fly rod, it's called load, which means the rod's loading from the weight of the line. Okay. That's how we pack it, right? And that's why the line weight is so important. Right. So, but if that line's up in the air like this, and you go, start to go forward, you can't load against it. It's all, it's all flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, okay. So my line needs to go boink, and right then is when I start to go forward, and that's what loads it. So, so ideally, it'll never touch the water behind you. Yeah. But but now we're just kind of practice. I need what I need to do is just stop. I think back there is that a good idea to get just to make sure I get that right position. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's what you told me like ten minutes ago. Okay. Let me do a couple. Okay. Boom. There's my picture. Okay. Boom. There's my picture. Right. See that? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. moment where it was parallel to the water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going lift. Okay, that was seems slow. Do I have too much line out? Uh, I'll maybe bring a little bit. 
So, so oh, geez, you, now that's going to confuse me. Lefty is not Lucy. Lefty is tight here. Okay. <laughs> Is that good? All right, so I'm going to go 45 degrees. Oh, gotcha. Whoops. <laughs> okay, that was the worst one ever. Okay, here we go. I didn't wait, did I? Wait. There's a little thing in roll casting, too, I haven't mentioned yet. But the lines over here, if the wind's kind of blowing everything. Right. When I try and cast over there, the cross is Ah, ah, okay. But you can't, okay. Right, okay. So how, how do you, let's, so, okay, so if my line, if I, my line's way over there, so do I need to like, I need to bring it like this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because you got to get the pole out of the way. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me do one more line. Let me do one more roll cast. Wait. Okay. So now I'm going to go here. I, I, I feel, I feel like it's not, I'm trying to get the snap. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That needs to get dampened down. Okay. So, so how, how, how am I again that, what am I doing for that wiggle? What, what's, what technique, what's wrong? You're going, I, I, I'm literally going, okay. So, you just need to end a little stop. I mean, it's an abrupt stop, but not with so much power. So, it's, so my rod stops. Gotcha. I, I don't have to. I don't have to exaggerate the stop. Like I'm literally. Okay. 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 Well. The, yeah. Okay. So I'm. I'm going. I. I can tell. I can feel like it's herky jerky. Okay. And not, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. I feel like okay. I feel, I can tell that I'm like, oh, don't creep it. Okay, so. So, I literally just, ah, man. I, I can tell something's not right because it doesn't feel, it should feel natural. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm going, here's, I'm going to talk out loud. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go straight down the box, and I'm just going to stop the stop the rod, not necessarily force stop it. Is that okay? So I'm going here, and then I'm going back here. That I could you can. <laughs> okay. Right, 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 right. I I I just need to think. Okay, so. So I can tell if it's all zigzaggy, that's not what you want, right? You want it straight. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're not talking. Okay. Okay. This, gotcha. All right, all right. Uh, so I'm going to go. Ah, I know what I did wrong there. I, I went too fast from the water. I need to go up to 45 and then straight back. A okay, little better? Yeah. Again, bring the power down. Power down, okay. All right, so I'm going straight back here. So, so how are you, okay, so I, I understand, I feel like I'm just going from here to here, yeah. right? Okay. And then how do I actually, okay, how do I actually make it more? Let's get back to the basics. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you don't want to cast from here. Right. Because you'll hear it rip off the surface. Right. So, so, okay, so I know that, that part is you just get it up to here, right? Yep. And then you cast. Yep. So. I prepare your cast, I accelerate into the cast. Right? This is preparation. Yep. And then I just go straight back. 
Okay, and now did it be okay? Now the good way to end it again. This we haven't talked about the forward part yet, but one thing to know about is when I end it, let the rod fall down to where it's low again. Okay. Because if I don't, if I stop here and the line creeps back, then I'm kind of screwing up the next day. You, yeah, you want a nice calm line, right? You you want it to be calm and not like making splashes. Yeah. You want to get a ten out of ten on the high dive, not a big splash, right? I mean, because yeah. that's gonna scare the fish, right? Yeah. A big splash, they'd be like, "What the hell is that?" And if, if the rod's up too high, what happens to the line? It just creeps back at you. It creeps. Okay. Yep. Okay. Line down. Line down. No slack. Gosh dang it. Okay. Line down. No slack. Prepare. Prep it. So I don't care what the front looks like, right? Yep. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna prep it, and then straight back. Is that a little better? Okay. Ah! So okay. Bring the power down more still. <laughs> okay. We're gonna make sure we stop next time. That time we, we went back a little now, bit it, far. Uh, where's your hand? Okay, right by, right above your deltoid, okay. Yeah. I didn't set it up. Okay, here we go, no straight back. I think what I need to see him do is calm down and just let it just let it happen. Okay, on that one we we just kinda went back to here and went forward. We want to come back here and stop. Stop, okay, okay. There you go. <laughs> that was a hook, that would have been good. Uh, I heard that going by my ear. Okay, here. Now I know why there's yarn. Okay. Because <laughs> you better do yarn before you put a hook on. <laughs> Alright, I better get a helmet instead of a fishing hat. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here. Ah, that was jerky. Okay, again, here, set it up. Yeah, and remember there's Stop. No, there's no pause here. Remember? Just look, there's no pause. Not here. Okay, yeah. okay. We, that's, that's the point where we change our direction. Gotcha. I was exact. I was ex okay, all right, I, that's a bad habit. I was exaggerating the setup. Okay, so don't, so come here there you go. and then back. Yeah. Ah, that's, that's yeah. my problem. Yeah. Okay, no pause. Come here, straight back. Power down. Okay. Good. Okay. That helped a lot. Yeah. It needs to flow because I'm going here. I'm starting from here, and that's not good. Yeah, you watch the line all such a <laughs> you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, a couple um, more, or, or? Let's, um, I got a. Let's do a couple more. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm going to get one of those balls and start squeezing it. Or maybe I shouldn't <laughs> put indentions into the cork. You know, when you're fishing, you won't. Gotcha. All right, boy, this this is this is so peaceful on a nice day. You got the, I can I can totally see why this is so popular. I can see why you made a whole shop out of it. Okay, so I'm coming here. Don't wait. So okay, I'm not gonna. This is the last time I would do this. If I pause here. I'm going straight back with the tip. I'm thinking in my head, correct? Uh, like on the, uh, I'm, I'm from here. I'm not looping back. I'm going straight back. Uh, I'm not sure. I totally follow you. What, what okay. happens is you lose the load on the rod, and that's the point where we're starting. We're trying to load the rod. You know what I mean? So gotcha. Watch the, watch the amount of bend on the rod tip. Yeah. If I come up here, there's a little bit of bend on it. Yeah. If I stop, it pretty much goes away. And I get this flat, right? Right. So now I almost have to start with a jerky start. Okay. So get the flat out. And that's the so opposite was, of what you want to do. Right there, I started loading. Gotcha. Okay. So okay. That real smooth, under control path. All right. So I'm going. 